We are going to import domestic throwdown, which is a show three hours north from me in Pocatello, Idaho. Uh, if you haven't seen my TikTok, there was a whole mess of crap that happened yesterday. I uh, debated, or I popped my front left tire. Tried to get it to a tire shot really slowly because a spare wouldn't fit because of the bags. Ended up debeating it. Ended up having a friend of mine save me with a spare rotiform that was the right offset that I could drive the car really slowly. All the mess in the trunk is from that whole day. It took us like six hours to get this car six miles to get it fixed and on the road again for this weekend and this show specifically. So what we're going to do is we're going to pack up the car with some more tools and get on our way. Just like that, we're done packing. All the tools are underneath the floorboard right there so they don't rattle around. Got all my cleaning stuff. Got my bag. Got a cooler. Checked the fluids. Brought extra fluids. Brought extra tools. We are good to go. All right, we're gonna go meet up with my boy Jackson about 45 minutes north and then make the rest of the drive. After that, it'll be another about two hours north make the rest of the drive up there. So I won't bore you guys with any of the details. This is gonna be a whole weekend video. So we'll just kind of cut to the chase when we're there. Well, it's, it's 98 degrees. I have no AC. The car's getting hot while being on the freeway. So I have the heat on to keep the tents down. I can only go like 73 miles an hour because I don't want to have the car wrapped out at 4,000 RPMs at 80. Oh, this is gonna be a long trip. We have found Jackson. I'm at a ridiculous high ride height because I've already hit my bumper on two things on the freeway and I don't have any more zip ties. I used the rest putting the car back together last night uh, because my bumper is held on by zip ties because it comes off so much. We got another hour and 51 minutes is what MAP says. So I guess cue a little driving montage. How is my bumper already falling off? Are you tripping? Oh. My bumper is all the way on. I thought I was tripping. No, bro. I took I, that. I, I ran over. You, I didn't know you took that piece off. No, I've ran it over twice. I ran it over twice yesterday because it kept falling off, so I took it off. Dude, I was so scared. I was like, yo, is Max's bumper coming off? And no, I we chill. I was like, there's no way it's coming off. Okay, I was so scared for a second. What's up with this traffic? It's like it's 9 p.m. Both of the uh, Riverdale and Ogden traffic. Oh boy. I have to try to get back over. Where's that coming from? I have, we have made it! You thought my, oh, it came off once. You thought it came off and then it did come off. And then we had the coolant leak. Yeah, no, dude, I thought this, I didn't realize that that piece was gone. And when I saw it on that, so I was like, Max, your bumper is falling off. We pull over on the freeway up in clear field. And he's like, oh no, that's how it's supposed to be. I was like, oh. No, I took, I took that piece off because I've ran over it twice the past two days. Oh. It's fallen off twice. I ran it over twice and found it both times. So I was like, I'm <laughs> not going to risk a three hour drive with it on there. So I just took it off and put it in the car. <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. Hey yo. We gotta we gotta go figure out where to wash wash Granda. Potato land. We're gonna go throw potatoes. 
We're gonna throw it. <laughs> it's disgusting. Yeah. But I think it's pretty. Oh, look at this. Look at these wheels. Carbon lips and barrels. There's the barrel carbon. The barrel does not appear to be carbon. That's crazy. And this Foz. This Foz pulled up. He recognized me from TikTok. He won't sell me his wheels. I want his wheels so bad. Will not sell them to me. Oh boy. the grass right here there's a yeah. big hump right there that most daddy cars won't be able to get over um yeah i'm yeah. just gonna hug the left side if that's cool yeah, just kind of go around okay cool thanks yeah oh boy i hope i don't rip the bumper off you got it baby oh all right faith. oh i don't think i touched anything Say, whoa that's lit. let's go it is official we have made it to the show. I love parking in the grass because the car, I mean, is literally laying on the ground all the way around. This is sick. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this right now. This is crazy. So that is so rad. What in the world is this? <laughs> I want to see this thing driving. I think it actually does. God damn. For all real axles. Whoa. Oh. Yo. That is so cool. Let's check. Hold on. I want to look at. This is the coolest part, I think. The fact that the license plate is molded like that. The smaller turbo feeds the bigger turbo. Uh huh. Wow. I've never seen diesel stuff at the shows. This is cool. Yo! There's some dope stuff here. He's spray painting. Hold on. He's spray painting his fenders back there. <laughs> All these are carbon barrel too. They're AGs, just like the green uh, WRX STI. I don't know if that, the green one's a WRX or an STI. 32. Really clean FD. I feel like it might be a little pointless to wipe my car down because the grass is blown everywhere. This mini truck is rad. It's kind of walking the show. I think it's really cool how the way that they did it like in circles, in sections, all the way in and in the middle. This is so rad. With the PT Cruiser. Oh my gosh. Oh, that SQ5 is sick. That's some food over there. That's about it. This is a 2022 WRX. It's this is my second time seeing them in person. This is the only issue I have with them is the plastic fenders and the plastic bumper is awful. Other than that, I mean, honestly, even if you lowered them with the plastic fenders, it might not be horrible, but the bumper is definitely, I don't like it. Other than that, though, I think the styling on the new 2022 WRX is actually really cool. Check this thing out. The fire extinguisher exhaust. <laughs> it's so rad. <laughs> so this old C4 drag Corvette. That is nuts. Oh yeah. Big, big tire. Look at the tubs. Tubs are carbon. Wow. Super rad. Nitro Spud. It's a funny car. Oof. 
These things are so crazy. It's big. Put some elbow grease in it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Put some elbow grease in it. You cracked it. You, crack <laughs> you cracked it. You got a crack right here. Here, watch out. Oh, gosh. oh, there it is. I got it, boys. We broke it. It's deep as shh. It's deep. Go! 
met a lot of you guys today, which is really cool being in another state. Met a lot of people come up to me. That's awesome, but I'm hearing something. The nitromethane cars are back on, so we're gonna come check this out again. that we were in Tide and this pink Miata right here tied. So we did a rerun, got way more people in the car. I was too cramped to get my phone out to film it, but we ended up winning Limbo in that purple Miata, which is sick. That is the end of the show. I did not win any awards. Again, I say this every time, not what it's about. So a lot of fun, fun meeting a lot of you guys. I am beat, beyond beat. So time to head back to the hotel and we're getting a pool because it is i am sick of sitting in the heat all day but yeah good show oh my gosh <laughs> oh my where'd he go where'd he go oh my gosh yeah that would have been scary Now the next day, again, time to go home. I'm all packed, ready to get home. I will uh, either update you if I break down on the way home or the ending video photo that I always do will be my car back in the garage. So peace. <laughs> We have made it home. Forgot to show you guys. The night that we went on the canyon cruise last night, there was a cattle grate that came out of nowhere. I slammed on my brakes, uh, sadly. All the way aired up as high as it can go. My front splitter was still only like an inch and a half off the ground. Um, yeah, we, uh, it's destroyed. We destroyed the splitter. It like It's like coming out of the bumper. I mean, check this out. I mean, it's, I mean, this thing is destroyed. It's bad. I mean, I might be able to stitch some of this back together, you know, and then bolt, re-bolt it back through because it pulled the bolt through and try and use it again. I don't know. This thing is, this thing is destroyed, but that's where we're going to end it, guys. It's a fun weekend. We made it home safe and sound. Granda did great. No issues on the way back. So yeah, that's the only that's the only thing that happened that was bad. Peace out. Thanks for watching.